Hello, warlocks of all shapes and sizes. My name is Chance. Welcome to my spellbook, and thank you so much for tuning into the 44th episode of our Eldritch Invocations series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of the cooler ones, utility wise and roleplay wise, and uh, honestly, kind of a staple for anyone who picked Pact of the Chain. Uh, today, we're going to be taking a look at Voice of the Chain Master. Um, this is probably one of the one of the most iconic invocations to pick if you chose a pack of the chain um, and we'll, we'll get to why in a little bit here uh, in any case let's take a look at the description here uh, there is a prerequisite and that's you have to have picked the pack of the chain feature which kind of makes sense given everything I just said as well as the title of it uh, kind of no-brainer but whatever in any case, the description reads as followed. You can communicate telepathically with your familiar and perceive through your familiar senses as long as you are on the same plane of existence. Additionally, while perceiving through your familiar senses, you can also speak through your familiar in your own voice, even if your familiar is normally incapable of speech. Super cool. Uh, let's get into this a little bit more and break it down in the overview section. Uh, essentially, you can telepathically communicate with your familiar and, perce and perceive through their senses while you're on the same plane. You can also speak through them. Pretty cool stuff. Um, in terms of cool ways I've seen this used in the past, uh, if a warlock's captured, they can send out their familiar to speak with a neighboring adventuring party. That's kind of more of an NPC plot hook device, and I've used that in my own campaign a couple times. Um, and that being said, if you are a player character, you could use this to uh, send messages great distances or uh, kind of have your familiar serve as a walkie-talkie of sorts between um, you on a scouting expedition and them relaying everything back to the party members or to an NPC. Um, I think there's a ton of great uses for this utility-wise, I really do. The fact that there's virtually an unlimited range on it is super great as well. Uh, that being said, guys, if you have any alternative uses, any cool ways to use it, or um, anything interesting you want to add or note, uh, please mention it down in the comment section below. I really do appreciate it, and I love hearing from you guys. I try and respond to every comment as soon as I can. Um, that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and as always, happy casting.